father's farm, I spent time on my father's farm, and both of these farms actually produced food for our family. So growing up, I had a healthier baseline to compare things today than most kids do today. Um, most kids don't grow up on farms like I did. Um, they don't spend time on, you know, on other family farms like I did. So they don't really have a healthy baseline to go on. Um, while I was working um, for the large food company, I wanted to take an opportunity to really explore the inside of the food industry to see what type of food choices my kids would be subjected to when they grew up and uh, when they went to the grocery stores and things like that. Uh, because of my job position within the company, um, I was able to go to all the different departments. Um, I was friends with most of the department heads, so when I did answer or did ask questions to gain knowledge, um, they answered me very free, freely and honestly. Um, I also had the abilities to actually visit the contracted farms that grew things for the big, big food company as well. And I got to talk with the farmers involved in the process there also. Um, what I found is uh, basically that large food companies have almost taken Mother Nature out of the concept 100%. Um, they're growing some of the items that they're growing at you know, two to four times past the normal rate that that product was intended to grow. Um, and, and what I also learned is they're actually more concerned with, like, say, the time on a production line than they were with food quality, safety, and, and the environment. Uh, <coughs> Now, uh, smaller family farms, uh, sustainable farms, uh, like my father had, my grandfather had, they actually support the environment and they actually work hand in hand with Mother Nature. They don't want anything growing faster than its intended purpose. Uh, every, everybody knows that if you take your time to get things correctly, you're going to come up with the best product. Uh, now, uh, another reason that sustainable farming is so important is it actually aids in, in um, reducing the carbon footprint that large industries are leaving behind. So it's very important. Uh, right now, um, from the information that I can find, about 70% of processed foods on grocery store shelves all contain genetically modified ingredients without knowledge. Um, and I mean everything. Soda, to soup, crackers, to condiments, uh, you name it, they all contain genetically engineered ingredients. Um, <coughs> now, over the past decade, numerous studies have shown that genetically engineered foods can pose serious risks to not only humans, but also to domesticated animals, wildlife, and the environment. 